Hey YouTube, DMH Spies here. Today we're gonna try a new series and it's gonna be reviewing toys. So, well it's gonna be more toys and video games and stuff like that, but today we are going to review the toy that came in one of the newest McDonald Happy Meals. This Hoopa toy. Okay. It kinda looks dark when I do that. So Hoopa is a toy, or is a Pokemon from the Kalos region in Pokemon. Uh, one sec, let me fix the graphics. Um, the toy is supposed to work like this. So you can see the little, um, little disc at the bottom of, a, of Hoopa. And what you're supposed to do is twist the body, um, in the disc. Um, like this, and then let it go and it tosses its ring. Now, it's not a very productive toss, but then again, it's a McDonald's toy. So, what can you expect? Um, other than that, um, it's shade on top. It looks, um, it, it's a bit dark colored, I have to say. Um, and, well the color overall it's kind of red um but then its horns um they aren't as pointy as the hoopa you find in the tv show but you know it's child hazardous um the paint job is really really good i have to say though um the details they got hoopa's eyes correct um, Hoopa has to, or, um, is commonly blushing in, um, its online photo. And, um, as for the back and the arms and stuff, um, the, the hair seems to be on. It just is missing a few dents and cracks and stuff like that. Um, I can see a little paint weakness back here. don't know if you can see that. Um, but the arms for me are the, or is the, um, ah, getting a losing grip here. The arms on Hoopa seem to be kind of weakly done. Now, Hoopa, if you look at its photo online, um, its arms are hovering away from it, as McDonald's, you know, obviously can't have done. No, no toy company can really make a, can really make covering arms. Um, other than that, um, the paint for the um, spikes at the end of its hands and body to connect the arms, um, they're, they're weakly painted on the edge to try to look like it, but it's not giving me a three-dimensional feel at all. It's just giving, giving me a flat, a flat paint feeling. Though I do admire if I were new to Pokemon, I would admire the toy itself, um, or the arms, the invisible arms, because I actually find it kind of cool. Um, as for, um, as for the tail, if you can see that, the tail is pointing out a bit, and that is pretty well done, except for the crease under the tail should have been a bit more in-depth. Um, and the head can wiggle, or the hair can wiggle on this, but if you want to look under the hair, you can see the screw hole um, that helps keep it together, and I think actually that is a fabulous place for it, um, due to the reason of, um, you know, it being hidden from children, and it's not like some of the other toys you see. Um, its eyes... Um, they're not fully painted to the top of the, um, they're not fully painted to the top of the, you know, eye outlines, and the ring on the top here, um, it is weakly done, um, I can see paint going under, um, the ring, but overall, this toy is grade, um, grade A for a McDonald's toy, you can, when this event was happening you could go in and buy it for I think just over a dollar so 
a toy that looks pretty much like it's supposed to. I think the camera reddens up the, um, reddens up Hoopa a bit more than it should, but the toy overall is really, really good, um, for something cheap, and it's worth collecting. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you subscribe. Please subscribe below and like the video. It would be very highly appreciated. Thank you. And good gaming. That's not my catchphrase.